Hey guys, so in today's episode, I'll be doing the Warthog from Halo. It's a Hot Wheels model, and uh, when I first got it, it was red. And I just basically, uh, I only primed the bottom part, which is the tires and uh, the inside. So let's get to it. The first thing I did was with some silver, uh, shiny metallic silver that you could get at Walmart in the crafts area. Uh, I painted the inside where there's the uh, the gun, basically, and the uh, the bar that goes on top of the car. So put a bit of that there. Then for the body, I used this Panzer Panzer Dark Gray. It's from uh, Vallejo, and they do model air paints. They're I guess they're used for airbrush, but I guess you could use them for painting. Uh, it came out pretty nice on this, so. Uh, did a few coats, maybe one or two coats actually, of uh, the green on top of the red. It actually sticked pretty well and uh, came out matte. So they're really nice paints. Uh, if you're looking into buying a bit more expensive paints, the Vallejo is the way to go. Uh, it's hard to paint the body with your hands while holding it, so you might want to invest into one of these little gadgets. I picked this up at Amazon also and uh, I mean it holds everything in place for you so it's super easy to paint everywhere without getting anything on your fingers then with a dryer brush just move the paint around and get rid of the excess uh, for the inside I just took some brown some cheap brown from Walmart uh, it's gonna be hard to see the inside of these cars anyways so you don't have to do crazy details if you don't want to I just like to put a bit of brown where the seats are, uh, just to make it different, you know, just to have a bit of color pop out. If someone's actually looking at your model really close, uh, you could use the excess on the tires. Like once you have a bit of brown left over from the inside, just throw them on the tires. Why not? It's gas lines, so might as well dirty up the car. These are toothpicks. Um, not the best idea. It's really hard to glue these. Here you can see I put two in front of this car. Um, just for the picture, it's nice. And uh, this the Warthog had a gas canister in the back, so with a toothpick, I actually just removed some of the green and had the red gas can uh, stick out there. Got lucky, I guess, that it was red, metallic red. It's pretty cool. Actually, I think those three on the other side are also gas cans. Yeah, so. With a toothpick, I just you know cleaned out the paint and uh, got some gas tanks pre-painted, reverse painting. <laughs> uh, then with some dark earth, again from Vallejo uh, Air, I uh, I dirtied up the sides of the body, basically where the dirt would like splash with uh, just a sponge brush like this one. Does a nice job of. Putting a bit of paint, don't put too much, less is more, as I'm learning. You have to keep in mind these are tiny cars, so the details on them have to stick to being small. Uh, that looks pretty good, put a bit of dirt everywhere. Um, maybe I'll put some rust on this. For rust, I, uh, I'm going to use this, which is lava orange. You could use just plain orange or whatever you want. But I had these, so um, with a brush, I'm just gonna put a few dots of orange here and there, and some lines of rust, like rust dripping, some orange dripping. Um, basically, where water would pool, you know, you could put a bit of orange, dark orange, and then a bit of light orange, or the opposite, you could put some light orange and then some dark orange on it. Uh, mess around. I mean, with two sticks, you could even do like really thin lines. And then um, for the inside of the car, or basically the driver's side, I don't have any little drivers or little models, or I don't have a 3D printer to make little guys, so I usually try to hide the inside of the car with, with a mesh like this, so it's not too obvious that there's no driver. Then with a bit of black, I put the, uh, the suth on the gun here at the end. The bullet comes out, probably leave some burn marks. So I'll just put a bit of black and then with a dry brush, 
just to give like a burnt nozzle on your guns. It looks pretty good. Uh, in the trunk I put some some chains that I had or uh, my wife's jewelry that she probably doesn't wear anymore. Hopefully she doesn't wear anymore. Yeah, if she's looking for some kind of chain, I'll know where it is, I guess. Um, back to painting. The uh, underside was too uh, even and not dirty enough, so I went back with some, some brown again and just with a brush dirtied it. And uh, the window is way too dirty. Driver can't see nothing. So uh, with a toothpick, I just cleaned the window a little bit. Maybe something the driver would actually do. Some little details like that that probably you are only going to see and no one else. But, you know, it's fun to give a little backstory to your driver. Maybe he's got pet peeves against dirty, uh, dirty windows. Uh, with some silver, you could use a uh, brush, very little silver at the tip, and just dab the mags like so, just to show that they were silver at one time and got dirtied. And um, with a sponge and some black paint on the sponge, you could just roll roll the tires and pass the sponge underneath to give bring back some of the black that the tires should be. And if you have too much black on the tire you could just roll it around uh, or use a dry sponge, a clean dry sponge and sponge off the excess black. Uh, then with the same sponge just go into my brown that I had. I had some leftover brown so might as well sponge some dirt, a bit more dirt on the tires, on the sides of the tires, where the mags are. If there's too much black, you want to try to get rid of it like that. So, you know, dirty up the tires. Black, brown, black, brown until you're happy with the results. Don't worry about going over the mags a little bit. It's fine. Again, it's gas lands, dirty up your stuff if you want to. I mean, I don't think there's any car wash in gas lands, so. And then with this little brush here, sponge brush, I put a bit of dirt on the hood. Uh, my hand was hiding it, so I'll show you what I mean. That's like a little rock of dirt that exploded at my bumper or something. Yeah, I really like this brush. It makes straight lines and nice texture. Then I glued the uh, spikes, which are the toothpicks. Uh, I mean, these are probably going to last just for a few pictures, and then when you're going to play, it's going to fall off, but whatever. There's a way of making better spikes. I'll figure it out. Uh, you can repaint those, put some blood on the tips if you want. And that's it. So from a red warthog, turn it into this green army buggy I guess so uh, thanks for watching and um, we're on Facebook if you want to come and join us on Facebook we talk and show pictures and videos and stuff like that it's a really fun group um, also subscribe and hit the notification bell so that every time I do a video you'll know and you could follow me as I learn the process of making these cars I'm also on Instagram Gaslands TV if you want to go follow me there, I'll follow back. And uh, if you have a hot tool you want me to paint, let me know.